it up, give us a second until we figure out what the hell is going on, but we have a few cool topics to talk about and After Effects Live thing. Yay. Mm-hmm. So give Brendan a few minutes to actually find some decent music and some time for our little thing to actually get into sort of a working order, even though there's still... Oh my god, wow. Hmm. Ah, it's, it's rather exciting. I must say so myself. Goodness. God, that's great. Yeah. Right. <gasps> we're gonna be live now, Brandon. We're starting soon. Oh my! Well, technically we started like forty seconds ago, but uh, oh. what? Did you find the music? Myself. Oh, you hear yourself? Oh yeah, we do. Oh, yay! We're live. Hello, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, we're gonna do another tutorial for you today. We, yesterday we kind of did something. We're gonna show the results of that. I fiddled with it just a little bit in the in the uh, after portions of uh, us stopping the stream. We're gonna continue doing some more effects today using After Effects with our limited knowledge of it. But we're actually gonna go ahead and look for the news that came about today on 5 16 2014. Halo 5 Guardians announced. So we now know the name for the Halo 5. Brand and your opinions on it. I am glad. <laughs> you know um, you have to buy Xbox One for this now, right? Yeah. <laughs> but well, you know, did, we, we saw that coming. We yeah, saw that coming. Did you, I'm just going to say my wish list literally goes almost up to $4,000 right now. Well, I, you know, if you cut down on the Transformers. That will cut out at least 3000 of it. Oh, yeah. Music time. Yay. Oh, is it? Is oh no! There's ding dong. No, no ding dong song. Listen to it, fool! You didn't even look. Click. I have to buy a song. It's not royalty Please free. Don't listen to it, fool! Oh. No, it's stupid. What? That's not stupid. It is catchy and it's rev. Well, I'm gonna keep it really low because it's stupid. No, it's so loud, man. <laughs> Why is it so loud? Lower, lower. There you go. The lowest it can be. So yeah, Halo Five cards. Name's Guardians. So we have Master Chief on the bottom and an unknown prick on the top. Brandon, what? We talked about this like a second ago. Why do you think they have a unknown prick on the top and Master Chief on the bottom? Um, it really seems to be. Uh, it seems like there are a whole bunch of reasons as to why. Um, well, there's a bigger it picture. <laughs> <laughs> um, people have been saying that there might have been a, a sort of like a chief and arbiter sort of deal where uh, one but, is hunting the other. But I want the arbiter back. You can't have the arbiter back. Not yet. That's Sorry. Such a lame, man. I hope Halo 5 is going to bring my arbiter back, man. Dude, we're going to get a Halo 2 anniversary. You could play arbiter all you want on that one. I hope it has some f cinema mode or something. But yeah, um, you know what I'm thinking? I mm. think that the guy on top, while he looks Spartan, I think he's really a forerunner fella. Nah, he's a Spartan. I know, but why did he destroy my dreams? <laughs> um, so yeah, kind of. I, 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 you know, I'm not as excited as I was about Halo Three, at all. Ever since, ever since post Reach, any Halo game not that exciting. Did you send mm. me more links to music? No, only one. Yeah, how about you? Are you excited about Halo 5 at all? Well, uh, the term Guardians is further proving that I, uh, you know, what I said earlier about how it was going to be heading towards space adventure instead of space opera. Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm a sucker for adventures, so I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Cold that. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it, but I'm not as excited as, about it as I was about Halo 3 again, because Halo 3 was a big thing. And I got my edition. I didn't get legendary. I got just what you called uh, uh, not legendary, not ep what was it be uh, below a legendary, um, mythic, mythic, whatever it was. I, I got a nice shiny case instead of nice shiny helmet. And uh, for Halo Reach, I actually got the collector's edition, the legendary one with the statue right there on my side. And truth be told, I don't know if I'm gonna get anything special for Halo Five. I'm thinking, I hope they're gonna have a collector's edition worth buying, but not as ex I don't. Do they have Halo 4 collector's edition? 
Um, I I don't think so. I they had I just the, grabbed limited edition. But yeah, I, yeah, they had limited edition. There, that's one I got the limited edition with the with the stuff inside of it. But yeah, otherwise Halo Five, uh, yeah, it's a bit lame. Not uh, yet. Not that's... yet. Well, supposedly the article says that they're gonna make everything bigger. Mm-hmm. They, we're going to have sixty frames per second. Uh, How is that gonna affect people? Uh, people don't really use uh, assume the Halo runs in 60 FPS. They obviously have never played PC games because on PC Halo runs pretty fast. Um, and uh, obviously they're gonna be change 343 obviously spearheading this, and it's gonna be an Xbox One. So all of you guys who stick into Xbox 360 thinking oh, Halo, yes, sucks to be you. Get Halo Five. I don't really like the pseudonym of Guardians. I don't. I mm. think it's I think it's too. Uh, I don't know, cocky. Because look, we had Halo One, Halo Two, Halo Three, and Halo Four without any pseudonyms. We had Halo Reach, but it was Halo Reach. It wasn't Halo f- Three Point Five Reach. It was Halo it was Saturn Reach. Uh, this is not going to be Saturn Guardians, unless they're referring to humanity all of a sudden becoming Guardians. Well, we were actually we were the most destructive force in there, according well, to lore. Eh. We all know about that whole thing. Um, once again, if you read the books. Um, the whole Covenant and Forerunners and stuff all have this big central theme of the mantle, you know, the right to protect the rest of the universe. Uh-huh, yes, 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 yes. And so, obviously, those Guardians are going to be whatever it is that was protecting the universe beforehand. And remember, in the last game, in Halo 4, we got special powers for Chief that made him immune to the... To the, to the uh, dust beam, I like calling it, because it turns everything <laughs> to dust. The computer computerization beam that turns everything into more of those Prometheans. Uh, so technically, Hail, uh, Master Chief is now a guardian because the librarian passed on the mantle onto him. So now we have <laughs> the second character. Do you think we're going to be playing with this guy instead of Master Chief? I kind of think so. I mean... If uh, 343 is following Bungie's footsteps at all, like I said, they probably would. Halo 1 was always going to be like that uh, one where you establish the world. Halo 2 was the one where they added in an antagonist that you could play as and also, you know, added more races. But I'm not sure if that's going to be in Halo Mm -hmm. 5. Um, I think they'll let us play as that secondary character. So here if, is my question to you. If, if they do following Halo 2 logic, this guy looks Spartan, so is he going to be a bad Spartan? Well, um, to those who zoom in on that Spartan's chest a lot, you can see an Oni symbol on his chest. That can be a bit of a bad thing. Mm-hmm. Um, it's commonly known that Oni has uh, a we lot of Spartans. Reach, right? <laughs> uh, everybody on Halsey's side hates Oni. And seeing as how Master Chief likes, you know, is, is on Halsey's side. Well, Reach Spartans were Oni. All right. Huh? Re- Reach Spartans were Oni Spartans. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody in the Noble Team was Oni. Yeah. Well, that's I mean, why they hated George, but. Well, yeah, George was Spartan too. Um, yeah, the Spartan threes were made by Oni because you know they were just like, hey, we need to make some cheap super soldiers, but. Um, yeah. It well, seems that this guy is purely Oni. So, yeah. Since Halsey is gone. Well, Halsey's going to get revenge on the UNSC. I ho- I'm crossing my fingers. She does it in a big And I hope she gets a robot arm. <laughs> yeah. You know, she's going to be working with the uh, Magdama guy, the, the bad elite. She better yeah. get a, some kick ass robot arm. She well, deserves it. Either that or she'll just have it stay cut off since but elites you know, don't really do medicine at all. She just got shot once. And the guy cut her arm off. How badass is he? Seriously. Uh, he cut off an old woman's arm. Asshole. All right, so <laughs> finishing thoughts on Halo 5 reveal name and stuff. <clears throat> huh? Say that again? Uh, finishing thoughts on Halo 5 re- reveal name? Name reveal? Um, I think it certainly makes things a little bit more anticipatory for me. Yeah, and if you look at the background, it's sort of desertish, which is kind of supports the trailer that we saw for Halo Five back in 2013. Was it right? Yeah, with the, with the yeah. owl. I like it's, the big it's, owl. It's kind of funny. We talked about Halo Five not too long ago, and we talked about a little bit about it and the how it's gonna go, right? And all of a sudden, a week later, a week and a half, we actually get the name. 
Yeah, yeah. I think we're foreshadowing a lot of things lately, Brandon. It actually come true. <laughs> All right, anyways, um, you're not here for this crap. You're here for a tutorial or making us fail at its stuff. <laughs> but yeah, um, what you call it? I actually finished, not finished, but actually did a few things to it. So let, let's just watch what I did. It's not really that pretty, but Brendan and I just edited it. Just tiny smidge. We didn't add a lot. I'll actually tell you what we finished after turmoil of shit that I had to go through because of this kid. Oh, put the planet in there. Oh, cut it in half. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, what we did is... The lighting. There you go. We, we did a little lightning effects. Uh, to signify that the ship opens the portal, and that's that's pretty much it. Um, to, to show you guys how we actually did the lightning, it's really easy. Um, um, where is it? Um, I actually this is actually pre-composed layer just for the lightning, but uh, and here is a pre-composed layer for the light for light for the actual ship. If you notice, uh, there's a big difference between where is comp three between the lightning of the ship here and the lightning of a ship here. Uh, actually, let me move it a bit so you actually can see the, the nipples of the ship. You see, there's a red or yellowish glow from the portal on the ship. I actually managed to do it. Yay! So it's, it's a big drastic difference between uh, the two shots, which pretty much what I want. The evolution from unlit to lit. And it highlights this sort of bumpy... Uh, not all of the ship, but I suppose that's how lighting works in this, in this uh, program. Uh, with this particular model. And for... Uh, for the lightning, uh, let me just check where it is. Yeah, I did it in pre-com player. Uh, pretty much what I did is I went and I created black solids. And then I went and typed in lightning. And then we're going to have... Uh, no, there's another lightning effect. I forgot where I went for it. Um, let's go. <laughs> Ironic, stupid me. Yeah. And that was an effect. Um, generate. Was advanced it? lightning. Advanced lightning. There you go. Thank you, Brenda. You're smart. Pretty <laughs> much that's what I did. Advanced lightning. Then you just uh, do the same thing we did before with the uh, tick tick tools and the uh, um, what you call those rhombus things? Rhombus. Yeah, those small rhombus things. Remember, okay. rubber band. Oh, I, I or track points, that. not track points. I just flew out of my head. Key keyframes. There you go. Oh, you, ju I, you just you said rubber bands, and I was like, "What the hell are you?" Yeah, talking you, ju you just about? keyframe the stuff on, and uh, things will happen. But yeah, pretty much this is going to be the final product, the Comp Three, and I also added a little bit of um, aftershake. Pretty much that's what everybody uses, or supposedly everybody uses. Some, some people use the wiggle. I like using aftershake. What it creates a little uh, shaking effect for the footage, as you can see. Everything stays in place except the footage, and it just kind of wiggles, shiggles. Pretty cool. Uh, I like it. I don't mind it. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to have... See, there was a big, large, spiky thingy going out to create the portal, but Brennan thought it looked like a male organ. You're the one who called it that. Yeah, I like, was just saying it looked odd. It's lightning dick. Uh, but yeah. I, I like how you... I see, I was contemplating whether to make lightning disappear and reappear slower. But I see, you know, when lightning stops, it just stops. Mm -hmm. Especially when it's not lightning from the sky. Ooh. Ooh. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, um, this is pretty much done. So we're going to actually create a new composition. Press OK. We're going to name this composition... Uh, or maybe we can create a new project, not a new composition. We're going to create this new composition uh, settings. We're going to rename it as a uh, Portal 2. Um, so we're going to change the camera angle. So we're actually going to have our portal, which is... Uh, uh, let's destroy the render queue, which is pre-comp 1, so comp player 1. Let's go ahead and take it. And actually, what is going to happen is that we're going to take it to 3D layer just a little bit. And uh, this is going to be pretty much the front of the um, of the shot. We're going to see our ship go inside this portal. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and scale it up a bit. Um, transform, scale it up just a tad. Like this, because now we actually know that the, the where the portal is at. Because in this shot, in the COM3, uh, the portal is right here. 
So now the camera is going to be from this side, from the behind of the ship, because it's going to be a much easier shot to do than there will be less fiddling with the ship as opposed to this shot in particular. We also got to take this flare that we had from before and try and recreate it. So let's go ahead and see where this uh, flare is at. Yeah, here it is. So, Flaren. yeah, we're gonna take this black solid and try and put it on on this, like this. No, Flaren. yeah, I, had to figure, I forgot to hide to figure out how I did that. I think you have to go <laughs> here. I guess it's right here. Black solid eight. Be careful, man. Be careful, man. Hey, hey found man, hound. Found man, hound. Wait, what? Did my phone make a noise? It did, didn't it? Oh, you it know did, what? I'm gonna make it. I'm just gonna make it easier. I'm gonna just pre-compose the, um, the actual, <laughs> the layer itself. Pre-compose, and okay. Vagrata. Mm. And it's a black comp one, and we're gonna see where it's here, right here. There it is, black solid B comp one. So let's go ahead and plug it in. And where is it? Where do you go? Where do you go? Oh, oh, wait. It's not here. Damn it. Well, yeah. put it there. You know what? Forget it. I'm just making a new one. <laughs> let's, let's take an easy way out. Let's take an the easy way out. The biggest case of fuck it I've ever heard. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, fuck it. Uh, layer, new, solid. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, boy. Uh, wait. I created a solid, didn't I? I did. Mm. And an effect on this. Oh, I created a light. Huh. I'm stupid. It's all good. Yeah, there's black solid. Let's just check which which, um, uh, which of the flares I used here. And we used... Uh, do you see the name of it? Glue, 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 glue. It's called... Well, you're not in any of the things yet. That's global parameters. <laughs> Yeah. What is the name of this thing? Oh, there it is. A sector golden, was it? Yes, it <laughs> well, was. Uh, yeah, the last one we used had that weird TV thing on it. Yes. And actually, this time we're going to keep those things. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we're going to keep the... Because now the camera is completely inside the portal. So, uh, the light goes right into the camera and it creates a lens flare properly. Because the camera is actually facing the... Um, the light. So optical flares, options. I'm gonna go down to natural light, was it? And let's look for the TV one. No, it's not a natural light. Oh. It's in light. No, it's not in light. It's in motion graphics. There you go. Sector golden. Press OK. Now we're gonna add it once again like we did last time. Add. We're gonna Pick X, Y, right in the middle of this, like this. Mm -hmm. um, um, animation. No, that's not it. I actually want to make sure that we be able to see the. Um, we also make it scale it up a bit, just just two hundred and twenty, and brightness two hundred and forty. <laughs> Are you able to save a model with its textures on it? Inside the Element 3D, yes, you can. Oh, like, so you could apply it to other compositions? As in, what do you mean? Um, say, this ship that you have colored, would you be able to put the ship with its colors in it right there? Yeah, in, uh... yeah, I'll show, you, I'll show you right now. I'll show you right now. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and seat it like this, and then just see how it looks. I remember it's like moving at slower speed because of the uh, the amount of effects there are. Yeah, just two. We can actually make it a bit faster, the flickering. And also a bit brighter if you think about it. Oh my. How bright. Brandon, I got you an account. Oh, and in what? Jesus Christ. Let's go options. If it doesn't have a cool name, I don't want it. <laughs> Press OK. okay. Source type 2D, 3D. No, thank you. <laughs> You're 
ran through me on the ground. Oh boy. Maybe we can use different one, even though I like this one. You do? Yeah. Well, it's, well look, if we're gonna move it a bit to the side. There, you hmm. see, now we have that flare thing that we want. Because right in the right, right in the face of it, it's not really uh, giving you that. Uh, so we can move this, actually, like this. And move the uh, pre-com player like this. There you go. Yeah, but then you have this weird stuff. I don't like it. Let's go ahead do a... F uh, we have to move it to the side, Brandon, just a little bit. Okay, well, just a little bit. Yeah, wrong one. How wrong? Uh, left or right? I'd say right. Because right is always the right way, right? And we also can just tilt it just a bit. Just just a bit. Just a little bit. Uh, effects. Transform. Uh-oh. Uh oh, boy. Let's deactivate the flare first. Yeah. Oh, this. Deactivate the entire oh, thing. Oh, I, I I gave three D to the flare, not uh not to the pre comp. Ah, oops. There you go. Just a little bit, just a tad. Uh, or maybe not that much. And we're gonna make it bigger too. We have to scale it up. Cause the ship is going to be going into it, so we actually gonna make it a bit uh, bigger. A bit bigger. And let's just place it right in the middle again. There you go. Now we have that. As if you see, even the flare creates a little bit of a uh, of a 3D effect. As if this this is a worm who's gonna swallow the ship. And we're actually gonna go ahead and actually import a background because we don't want anything black in the back. Let's go ahead, file, import, file, and let's go ahead and find those. Uh, What you call them? Space backgrounds, Brandon. Space good, backgrounds. Space. Space backgrounds. Machinima. New picks. Uh, for this, we're going to be using not the same one. We can use uh, outer space, red, deep space. That's not. That's why not. Why not use deep space? Place it on the back. There you go. Mm. Don't that look cool, huh? Yeah, it's all pretty and blue and yellow and orange. Great. So we know that in the previous shot, uh, in comp three, we're gonna end the shot actually right around here, like the actual shot in the film, somewhere around here. So the ship in the new composition in Portal Two, we have to place it a bit sort of covering the already existing portal. So let's go ahead and besides doing any special effects for now, let's go into file or you know layer new uh solid let's go ahead and uh go to effects and do the element 3d and go scene setup so brandon you asked me whether i have uh where you can save things look i have an infinity the actual infinity from the game with unsc infinity on it uh-huh and all the decals right here and then you have infinity that i made for the Space Marine, which is a bit darker without the uh, logo and whatnot. Those yeah. two are pretty much two separate models saved. Okay, I mean, that, that works. I also have a Health Young Cruiser right here. Ooh. Yeah, this is Pillar of Autumn, supposedly. So it doesn't look <laughs> that bad. I mean, you see, we can import this. I also have the Unity Spirit that we use in our testing. I like how this one's colored more. Wait, which one is that? The Spirit, oh, of, Spirit Fire. of Fire. Yeah, this is a low poly render of the ship. It's not really anything to hold your breath to, but it looks pretty cool. And then we have our cruiser that we use in our test as well. Cruiser. Yeah, cruiser. And then I also have a little covenant drop pod. Tintin. <laughs> I don't. I like, this one's probably one of the best textured things we got from Halo, from Halo Reach. <laughs> That's game, <sad. laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, um, just to show you guys how to. Um, uh, no. Uh, import models. Just click import. Go. I have my models set up inside the um, ship models. Uh, and this also is of models of ships and whatnot. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, do reach frigate. 
I don't think I have any bitmaps for it, but let's just uh, import Reach Frigate. So here's untextured Reach Frigate model. Mm. See, I don't necessarily like it. So uh, let's just pick something more familiar to people that everybody knows from every single Halo game import. We're going to go ahead. Ship oh, this models. Would be interesting. Copy <laughs> ships. a cruiser object. So there you go. This is a Covenant cruiser. Uh, this is probably what most people seen um, Virus using his little uh, exposés. And it only has two, um, what you call it, two effects to use. Unfortunately, I have no idea how to properly apply these things. So let's see, diffuse, normal, let's lower the texture, see whether we can actually do it. Desktop, ship models, copy ships, reach cruiser, bitmaps. So supposedly you need to use this first. This creates a texture, but I think they named it wrong. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I think they named it wrong, so now I have to, you have to use something else. Uh, let's go to normal bump, low texture. I'm probably using it wrong myself. I have no idea how to texture things properly. Cruiser, bitmaps. Let's go ahead. I see. Purple stuff. See, now it's a bit more detailed. However, it's still not as detailed as you would might, might imagine this to be. Uh, and it does, it's, it's the wrong color. It's not the proper color. Um, so let's go home and, and I guess illumination or something, mm -hmm. um, or maybe occlusion. Let's go to occlusion. Uh, I still have no idea what occlusion is. I don't know what it means. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just fiddling right now. Cruiser bitmaps. Let's go ahead and place this. And now it sort of resembles it, but it's all wrong coloring. It is absolutely wrong color. So let's go ahead and, uh, Try and diffuse more, diffuse less. Uh, purple, purple. Maybe you can change the diffuse color to suit. I mean, what was it? it was like they were like, they were kind of. I mean, cancel. Let's just cancel this. Let's de delete this. Uh, this right here. Let's go to diffuse color. Change actually this color to something else. What was the color of the cruisers? Um, cruisers. They're usually always that bluish purple. Bluish purple. That's too dark. Hmm. But you see, we lose all the detail that we're supposed to have. It is unfortunate. Yeah. So pretty much this is what we have, this dark, ugly, nasty cruiser. Let's go make it shinier. And the specular as well. There you go. Now, see how much shinier it is? At least we can make it shiny. Yeah. I have more luck with Halo 4 cruisers, actually. This is Halo Reach. <laughs> Yeah, so let's go ahead and try Halo 4. Um, Reach Cruiser, Kavi Ships, Halo 4 Cruiser. Uh, object. Pretty much the same model, just from Halo 4. I guess it's a bit more detailed, but remember, the Halo 4, you don't really see them up close. So they have they kind of have very low texture to them to begin with. So let's go to Diffuse, Low Texture, Desktop, Ship Models, Kavi Ships, Halo 4 Cruiser. And what we have for bitmaps is... Well, materials, diffuse, default, and then we have material. Uh, nothing in here. Nothing in here. I have everything in here. So we have like a bunch of these things, and you can't really figure out which one is for which. Supposedly, this is the one. This is the proper color with control, but this is the diffuse layer right here. There you go. So now it has sort of this texture to it. It kind of does look detailed, don't you think? A little bit. Just, just a tad, right? <laughs> Let's go to normal bump, low texture, same thing. Desktop, ship model, copy ships, Halo Four, bitmaps, bitmaps, and this is supposed to be bump. So now it's more detailed, which is pretty kick-ass, but it's still not the proper color. But it's this so much more detailed if you think about. It. Look at that. Let's go to <laughs> occlusion. So no many texture, polygons, right? Uh, desktop ship model again again. Let's go ahead and plug in what normal diffuse default normal But it's still the wrong color look. It's not the proper color. It's just wrong mm. It doesn't it's that's just not does not look like it's supposed to so let's go reset this or reset reset. Okay, forget it. Let's go to reset this clear 
a specular no environment no let's go to occlusion fine and let's use the the other one ship model sky ship hill four you also have this diffusion layer hi make it red I guess this is something of reminiscent of it. Like this, maybe. Obviously this this all is different layer, so it's default lights. Let's go ahead and make some lights for it. <laughs> Again, it all comes with a texture. Uh so here are the lights. Again, it's not really obvious what the hell it did but you can turn the lights all off all the way <laughs> and so then turn it nighttime without light yeah i mean this is this is looks somewhat like a covering cruiser right i mean let, let's go give it some light dynamic uh, it does kind of remind me of that dynamic lights it's a cinema oh there we go this is somewhat more of a uh normal let's go to stylize there you go this is even better look at that and perhaps <laughs> 360. Oh, it's a really cool color let me just save this just in case and ready to save it left click i mean right click and save as model preset and just h4 cruiser and now it's done <laughs> and aqua oh aqua is probably the best this looks more like a cover on cruisers than before and when we can turn on the lights and then in the after afterwards, let's go ahead and do normal bump or no wait lights illumination, because we have a texture for that as well. Ship, Kavi ships, Halo for cruiser bitmap. Let's go. And kind of didn't do nothing. Well, the planet is very odd. Hmm. Uh, you said it didn't do nothing. Yeah, actually, you know, in the game. All of this is sort of green color. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and use something preset green. No, wait, it was sort of shiny green, right? Uh, gold. No, let's reset this. The green. Let's make it specular. Shininess. Let's lower, lower it. Or maybe make it better. <laughs> and now we can make it add... better. Blanket term of the century. <laughs> <laughs> Desktop ship models. What if I use from the Reach Cruiser bitmap uh, lights? <laughs> yeah, we can reset this. No, it doesn't do nothing. Not what I want anyway. I because uh, I destroyed this. Never mind. Desktop. Eh, it doesn't do anything really, which is upsetting because I actually think I did it properly a few times back. But yeah, that's pretty much how you put models inside the Element 3D. Again, this is not what we're going to be doing though. So let's get our infinity, the proper infinity, mm -hmm. with normal lights, default lights. This is it. Press OK. And now it's there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, actually, we're going to go to options for the uh, uh, lens flare and get rid of the television. It seems so out of place. <laughs> this will be fine. There you go. Now it's better. Uh, let's go ahead and make the ship bigger. I did say ship, by the way. <laughs> okay. I'll make this big ship bigger. Uh, you gotta ship your pants. There you go. It's much bigger. Much bigger. Much bigger. Much bigger. Much bigger. Much. There you go. That's a good I size. I think it's big enough now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we're gonna do the rotate again. Uh -huh. Remember, now the camera is sort of on the side of the ship. There we go. Oh, look. See, see now it's getting there. It's getting around there. Yeah, except we actually have to move this back. 
So let's go to World Transform and Z. And move it to the side as well. And since we already have a shot of it kind of going inside, we can also make this bigger. The pre con. <laughs> No, not too big, because we want to see the background. Punch them before they can get to the background. They don't <laughs> need to see it. Uh, oh, the irony. Now, we have to actually apply lights to this. and maybe... Oh, boy, that'll be interesting. Oh, yeah. Well, remember, we're gonna, what we're going to do is going to use a second flare. So we're just going to copy this flare. Team flare? You mean yeah, we're gonna the one from Pokemon? Duplicate this flare and actually place it on top. There you go, you see? Now it's Ooh. sort of working. Now it is twerking. Yeah. And... Uh, I am getting... Hmm. Pretzel chocolate bar. Ah! Oh my, pretzels. Mm-mm-mm. So let's go to 16, which is our ship. Move it back. <laughs> In this space, move it back. In X and Y space. Hop back, hop back. Get in white gloves. Uh, we actually can move it a bit back too. So. And sort of go back to comp three, and kind of see what we did. And also, we have to change the lighting right here. So, um, what was it? Input render settings. Uh. Lighting, there you go, there it is. Are we gonna put the dramatic? No, it's not dramatic. Cinema? Yeah, it was cinema lights, I believe. Let me check. In comp three, no, almost done. <laughs> nine. Yeah, that's it. It was. Um, where is it? Where are you? Glow, 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 motion, where have Wait, where is it? Oh, that's it. That's the right one. Mm hmm I just forgot what I did in this one. I think I, I used the proper one. Stylized. It was stylized. Let's go to Portal 2 and use stylized. Ah, there we go. So now we have this. We're also going to increase. Increased it actually Z and additional lighting and then yeah, we're gonna make it a bit brighter like this. Good, good. Now I'm a bit lower, not too bright. Random, no thank you. Fog, we don't need to because there's no fog in space like that. So now we have the angle of the ship that we want and we have our portal right here. We can actually uh, go ahead and move the um, this a bit this way, like this, and we can move the portal also a bit to the side. Well, not really. Actually, I'm gonna. There, there. Oh, there, there you go. That's what. Oh, I'm combine doing. the flares. Well, no, this this layer is off. See. Hmm. So we're, what we're we actually gonna do? We're gonna play with that flare effect, because this one is so much brighter, right? So, uh, mm -hmm. and they're both uh, pretty much the same flare. They behave the same, so what we're going to we're gonna change it a bit. We're gonna move this flare animation a bit forward. There you go. So now they kind of two different flares. They kind of see kind of more fluid behavior. Indeed. Yeah, we're gonna take our ship. Our live in a pirate ship. Mm. We're gonna move it back again. There you go. So pretty much we have the angle, the same angle we have in here. If we go to COM3, same angle, uh, but the camera is right now by, uh, somewhere right here, right by the side of the ship right here. Um, we could also probably to make it more, we can make the ship look bigger if we really wanted to, but I don't think that's really necessary in this particular stage of the film um, or the effect. Uh, so we're going to do, once again, like we did before, we're going to do a crude render of the ship going inside of here. I mean, inside of the... Um, uh, portal. So we're going to go as the X and Y, and then we're going to just move this forward. Uh, yeah. We're going to move it in D space forward. But remember, you see, now it looks weird. Because it's not actually moving the way we want it to move. Wait, Z. 
There you go. We're gonna place it in the beginning. See, this pretty. This would have been pretty cool. Don't you think? It's like all oh, chua chua. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we could. Uh, we don't really need to do that. So we're gonna start from the five second mark, right here. Uh, mm -hmm. And then we're gonna go ahead, close this up, and undo these ones and redo them again. And we're gonna move it to a 15 second mark. Let's just say it's gonna be take 10, 10, 10 seconds. We're gonna move him. Uh, first, we're gonna do the Z space. See. But again, just like before, it looks weird. It looks like it's moving in D space without actually moving past us. So let's go back to this 15 second mark and uh, actually open the transform layer, effect, element, and look where we have it, world transform. There we go. So we're going to place our thing right here and going to actually move it a bit to the right. Yeah. So, so what we have now is actually an effect where the ship is uh is moving past but you see it has more of a 3d element to it however we're going to delete this and remember the ship is already close enough to the portal so it doesn't have to be that far inside that's what she said <laughs> we're actually going to move it just a bit this is good this is good enough and then we're going to move it this way like this okay but remember, when the ship moves, it, it doesn't it also changes the angle from the camera. Because right now, if we move the ship in the same direction, logically, it would be somewhere in this corner, not in the middle of the of the portal. Yeah. So what we're going to do is actually something clever with the X axis. Same like we did the last time. So we have our X axis right here. Or Y axis. Oh, y axis. So oh. we're gonna we're gonna do the tick mark. We're gonna go here. And we're going to slowly rotate it until it's sort of in a uh, in a more of a straighter position. See, now it's changed. So we're going to go ahead to the world uh, to the world rotation tool right here. We're going to delete this. Oh, I did the wrong thing. I didn't delete nothing. I just pressed the wrong thing. World transform. Okay, we're going to go ahead, delete this marker and uh, replace it again to have a better idea of how it's going to look yeah to the side boy to the side there you go so let's see how it looks like so you see now it sort of does this turn but I think we did too much of it yeah I think we did too much of a turn Cause that way it's, it's getting there. It looks like the ship is moving. Uh, let's go ahead and skip five frames and do a little pre-render test. It's gonna take forever though. Well, let's give five seconds. So I suppose that's not too bad. How long was the music track? It's still not over. Ah, I made sure it was an hour long. Oh wow. Let's gotta wait until the render finishes. That's gonna take forever though. Let's go ahead and play it. So you see, I think what we, we OD'd on is on two things. On the lateral movement, which is right here. And if we are gonna move it this much inside. Let's go to group one. Uh, there's a particle look. <laughs> Let's go to rotation. I guess we didn't rotate it good enough. Let's rotate it more. <sighs> picky, picky, picky. <laughs> they are picky. Mm hmm. No, you didn't rotate enough, babe. Mm, can't do it. No, didn't rotate. No. Well, by, uh, oh, cause I'm trying to imagine in my head, how's it going? So I imagine what we have to change is the Z. The Z has to be a bit bigger. 
uh, to sort of, uh, I think like this, this is the Z that we need to have to make sense of the, and I think we need to have less of a, uh, of a, there you go, yeah, less mm -hmm. of that. It'd be so much easier if we were watching this from a, I don't know, the 3D modeling software perspective where you could just float your camera around and make sure Well, it's this has there. four. Uh, two views horizontal. I don't know what that does. Four views. I suppose this is the 3D view. I think those are just, well. They're separate views, right? Yeah. Uh, um, mm. Yeah, just stick to one view. <laughs> See, because the only object that's 3D in here is that stinking um, thing. Portal? Yeah. We can make the ship itself a 3D object. But effects, it's not going to work, right? Hmm. See, it disappeared. Where is it? Where is it? Who knows? Edit, undo. <laughs> yeah. This is the active camera. This is the best one we have. This is not. This is not. This is not Element 3D. I mean, this is not Maya 3D or whatever. Um, I think. I mean, this doesn't look bad. I just don't like the fact that it moves so much to the right. You know what I mean? Hmm. Well, try uh, oh, You know what? You know what I think the problem is, actually, hmm. is the fact that our X in the beginning. Is too shallow. Right well, here. make that X pitch deeper. There, uh, no. Uh, uh, let's see how it looks. I'll we delete this. There you go. And again, this has to be much shallower, or on contraire, much farther. But if we make it much farther, we have to make the angle of the turn much, much more steeper. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 like this. No, no, no. Ah, Consuela is on the infinity, cleaning all of these stars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it takes some that. fiddling like last time as well. Battle brothers. No, no battle brothers here. <laughs> Activate warp. <laughs> Consuela, where are we going? To get more Windex. <laughs> yeah, I think we need to make the turn more drastic. Oh. It's not going to be, what is it here? 84 is going to be negative. Uh, air, too much. Negative 90. No, negative 86. I suppose so. <laughs> I'm going to leave the negative 84. Let's see. God, Mikey, how difficult it is to angle a big long ship into a random hole in space. Oh, dear. I completely agree with you. Dear goodness. Right? And this isn't rocket scientist, but it's technically rocket science. Uh, see, now I want to place the ship a bit uh, to the left, to the left. <laughs> But unfortunately, if I do that, I actually have to change everything about it. Hmm. All right. Uh, we have to redo everything. Still moving to the side for some reason, but okay. Uh, just to the other side. Yeah, let's go. Five second mark. Let's put the Z up. Let's put this here. 
like this. Like this. I kind of like this angle a lot more, if you think about it. Yeah. It, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, I, I look back for a second. I was like, Phew. and it's got its big booty in the way. How about um, like a little bit above the ship? Like above and to the right? We already have the above. Hmm? Remember I showed you the other clip? Oh, yeah. Well, that's above and on top. Like above and to the top. But okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Mm, Never mind. Yeah. So in here, uh, if we just move it back in the Z world, see, I like this angle. I want to keep it. So remember, it's going to go swooping in from left to right. Let's put the five second. Let's put the Y here. And let's uh, take off the world X, Y and world Z. And start moving the ship back without destroying the epicness. Like this. Bada boom. Oh wait, it twitched a little. A little bit, just a little. So let's go back to ten mark. And we have to remember how we placed it back there. It was really close to the hull, if I remember correctly, right? Mm-hmm. It was mad close to the hull. Mag close to that. Well, <laughs> well this is not bad. Mm -hmm. Except there's one thing I do not like at all. How this? How originally? Oh, dude, Mikey, we could make fully convincing portals and stuff in like a halo machine and out just people walking around and all of a sudden Bwang! oh crap that's too much nice house bro <laughs> uh, wrong one i wow that that was his wow. yeah it was <laughs> 89 uh, 80 negative 87 86 that's good It's a bit too close. You can see the low. Actually, is it low poly or is it all right? Hmm. Darn polyester. Eh, it is low poly of the ship itself. Bad polyester. Yeah. So we actually have to move it a bit back. But you know, it, let, let's see. Maybe it's gonna. And remember, when it kind of reaches this point, we gotta move the ass a bit. To negative eighty-nine. Yeah, there you go. I think this is this is maybe even less. Negative eighty-eight point five. Let's see how it looks. I think this is a, this is really good. I think anyway. Except I want the S to be moving. Uh, what time? What, what is it here? 88.4. Negative 88. No. I think it's going to be a bit farther now. No. Let's go back up. 89. No. 87.8. Okay. Hmm. That's not bad. I just changed one thing about this. Where's the portal? The portal will be. <laughs> We're gonna move the portal a bit to the side. Actually, no wait. Redo. Control Shift Z. 
It's alright here. Now I'm gonna move it even more. Free comp player. There you go. That's kinda <laughs> cool. We still see the space. Got the yeah. flare and we got the yeah. portal. And we have the enormous penetration. Very good, sir. Very good, sir. Except there's one thing we also have to change a bit. Yeah. See how the hull gets a bit away from the ship? Uh, a bit uh, yeah. a bit away from the camera. Mm-hmm. It's we're like gonna... the whale is floating a bit to yeah, the side. We're gonna com we're gonna yeah, exactly. We're gonna actually compensate for that a bit. By making another keyframe. Let's see if this worked. Now we can actually increase the this to eighty seven point nine and this to eighty eight point eight. All right, let's see. Because mm -hmm. I wanted to have a much bigger curvature, if you know what I mean. Curvature. Don't like the curves of the whale. Spurs. And remember, at at this point somewhere when it sort of starts, so it starts from five second mark. So probably by the eight second mark, we're gonna have the ship starting to disappear inside the portal. Um, so we're gonna some, figure out somehow to make it feel like it's going going inside the portal. But first things first, we're gonna add some lightning. Um, so we have this sort of shot that kind of is, 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 it would be okay on its own But let's not wh why why stop there. Let's go ahead uh, Solid Okay, let's go ahead effect and where was it? Uh, generate advanced lightning. There you go. Now we have so now we can actually make those lightning So we're gonna pick a different lightning effect uh, Strike which I think yeah, it has two points of origin so we have one point of origin here. Uh, one point of origin is gonna be touching the ship, but see, I kind of want to make it um, bigger here, smaller there. Let's see if we can make it three D somehow. Though I highly doubt I can actually make it happen. Hmm. If we move it closer here. Uh, huh. Uh, I know, Brandon, go look up for how, a way how we can make it sort of uh, slanted-ish. Slanted? Maybe we can... Let's go to distort and see if we can find something. Buggle. What, oh. what does buggle do? Bulge. It makes things fatter. Oh, does it? Yeah, it's like bulging out. Ooh. Oh, wow. But I think we actually got the effect that we needed. Oh. Oh, you're trying to curve the lightning? Yeah. I, I, I'm trying to make it bigger <laughs> here. <laughs> well, it kind of looks weird, but... You see what I'm getting at? Yeah, it's like... It's bigger uh. lightning. Little lightning has a noise. This one has a. <laughs> okay, so just keep in mind the bulge effect it does here. So let's go to try another one to store it. Biz Bizir warp. Oh, oh, ew! What is it doing? Ew! I don't like this. This is too complicated for me. It's very strange. To store it. Lens hmm. Hmm. slant. No liquefy. What does slant do? <laughs> uh, it doesn't do what I want. I think liquefy has what we need. You sure? Perhaps. Try it out, my friend. It's distort, right? Mm-hmm. Distort, then liquefy. 
CC liquefier, or where is it? A uh, little bit lower. Oh. Two more there. That will give us the curve we desire. And if you don't like it, you could just push it into your curve. Hmm. Like water. I don't think lightning should be doing that, though. What the hell is it doing? Turbulence? Is that what it said? Turbulence. Turbulence. Picker. Twirl. Twirl and twirl and twirl and say, what? Oh, it twirls it. Well, I guess I'll help you do a swirl bloat. effect. Oh, bloat. 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 Oh, I'm going to bloat it from the water weight. Water weight. Let's go here. Uh, and how do you make it smaller? How do you do anti-bloat? <laughs> um, shrink? Uh, clone tool. Well, what does clone tool do? Oh. Okay, no clone tool. Reconstruction. Oh, wow, look. Doing something nasty. That's gonna do what the hell we did. Ah, it's still not what I want. Maybe I make it, can make it appear. Um, what if we make it... Damn it. No, that's not it. I really want to add some lightning effects. I mean, we can also look up a tutorial for 3D lightning, I suppose. Go go do it, Brandon, while I'm doing this stuff. Do what? You want me to look up something? Yes. Ah. Let's see. Let's add some lightning rays. No, and you want me to look up what? Um, how to stretch lightning? <laughs> how to 3D lightning in After Effects. 3D. Let's delete this one, and I'll just work on the pre-comp layer. Yeah. 3D lightning in After Effects. C. Shazam. Create lighting or lightning using trap code 3D stroke. No, have that. Mm -hmm. After Effects. 3D and lightning effects project. That's an Eevee dressed up as a Pikachu. Don't understand <laughs> that. <laughs> After Effects Element 3D Lightning. Oh, that's a cool one. See how that one works. Since we have Element 3D. It is a rather short video. Let me link it to you. Oh, might as well watch it. You're right. Shazam, my good friend. Mah. <laughs> yeah, that's how we do stuff. <laughs> he even has a uh, trailer. <laughs> the opening. I don't see no lightning, man. I'm sure it's in the second half. Nope. Oh. You suck. But it says lightning. Uh, you Unless suck. Unless he meant to say lighting, and he was just an idiot who doesn't know how to spell. Probably that one. We should sue him. Well, at least we got the basics down so far. Right? Yeah. We got the ship moving. And it's sort of going into this nice little spiral way into the hell hole that is the teleporter. This is it. This is it. No, this is it. This is it. Yes, this is it. This is it. We're actually going to go here and, and do another curve of the, um, of the X 87.2. No, 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 wrong one, wrong one. Eighty seven point nine. Go make another one. Hmm. 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 Negative eighty seven. And then we're gonna change it here also a bit to the right. Like this, and see how it looks like. Yeah, now it looks much better. It's a bit closer. 
This can come with a bit sooner. No, but yeah, I like this much more. Good. You can actually go and take the lens flare and go up here. And make it a bit see through. Like this. Yep. As if the as if it's kinda of leeches through the um we can actually get rid of this stuff. Not this stuff. Yeah. There you go. Also, those two big lines, they have to go. There you go. Ah, now it's a bit better. Now we just kind of have this sort of glow. Sort of like a shining on the hull. No luck. I'm looking, but it is very, very annoying. They do not understand at all. Like, I was like looking for lightning and I get ovals. What the hell is it? Why do we get ovals? Wait, holy shit, that's a cool looking after effect. Which is? Wow, this thing has like 10 million views and it's just some dude doing an aura. Oh. Hmm. His fedora? An aura, but with no fedora. Oh. Lame. <laughs> what? Alright, good. I got it. Mm. I perfected the ship turn thing. Thing of a bob. Really now? Yes, I have. Uh, now I have to make it sort of. Well, it kind of is already going inside there, but I kind of want to want to make it disappear inside the portal, or sort of sizzle or distort or something inside of it. So what I actually can do is try and duplicate the actual uh, precom player, place it on top, uh, make it something add add now. I couldn't make it add. What screen? No. Wait, wrong one. It's screen. No. Overlay. Oh, oh, that looks cool. That looks. It kind of does look cool. <laughs> oh boy. Ah, <sighs> tisk tisk tisk. Evil mm. things, huh? Evil things. Can I actually place it here? No, you cannot. Do not place it there. It does not belong. <laughs> Too late. Actually, I'm going to do the same thing with this one, with Comp 3. It was pretty cool. Ooh, Almost no. done. Where is it? Bah. Goldfish mode activate. Duplicate. <laughs> And this is going to be no. No, that's green. Overlay. What did I pick for this one? I already forgot what I picked for Portal Two. Overlay, yeah. Now it looks. Now it looks the same. Color wise, anyway. <laughs> We also probably gonna try and put a lens flare somewhere on the side. So let's go ahead and create another lens flare. Lens flare effect. 3D channel. No, wait, lens flare. Optical flare. Lens flare. Lens flare. Lens 
flares. Uh, let's pick an orangey looking lens flare. An overarching lens flare with lots of fire involved. Uh, we, we can you can you can still use the same sector gold. I just don't want to. I don't, don't want to. I want to use another one. Mm. Um, just use the one with like fifteen of those TV screen things. <laughs> <laughs> Let's OD good. on epileptic seizures. It's okay. The the fans can handle it. Uh, not our fans. <laughs> Side on a morphic. We can use this one, I suppose. Let's go ahead. And press OK. Let's change the color to that kind of orangey. Okay. Oh, there you go. Let's click add. Let's go ahead and place this flare over right here. Somewhere over here. Somewhere over here. There you go. Uh, let's actually go ahead and crop it out. Let's go ahead and make this mask inverted. And then let's go ahead and increase the size of the mask like this. You see what I'm doing? Damn it. You are going. <laughs> and then we're going to feather this sucker. Like a baller. Oh, too much feather. Too much feather. Feather that thing more. <laughs> yeah, Make go. it so feathery the downy pillows say damn. See now we have that lens flare that everybody's like <sighs> over. <laughs> I go right in the middle. And mm -hmm. Just like have the ship just sort of like <laughs> into it. <laughs> and let's, go ahead. let's make it flicker. It'd be hilarious. You know, like the ship just barely gets there and it starts teleporting. Only one bit at a time. Rips itself apart. <laughs> See what I don't I don't like is the fact that the actual lens flare, this this uh, um uh the the lines they don't flicker. Add flicker to the lines. Yeah. Let's make it, let's make them three D. <laughs> I I I, I want to try doing something uh, interesting. Ooh, well maybe later. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Ah, right way. See what I sort of did? Hmm. It is. Yeah, it's getting there. It's like. It's sort of going alongside the ship. Maybe we can make it a bit more. A bit more awesome, Rar? Like this. Now it looks as if it's coming out of the. um. Of that hellhole. And we can, <laughs> we can make it uh, bigger, too. We can make it bigger. They go through hell in order to teleport. <gasps> I figured out what we can do. Oh. Oh. What? We can do this. Can well, at least, at, do at do least not that much. <laughs> we need to increase it like this. It's, looks like a, just like a Kamehameha going through the ship. Kamehameha! <laughs> it just goes down. Uh, we can we can scale it down now. Uh, not to thirty, hundred and twenty, maybe hundred and fifty. There you go. And what we're going to do next is that I mean, does it? I mean brightness. I mean we can change the brightness or we can change the scale. Which one do you think is better? Um, let's see. Show me both. Um, there's one expression I do know. Let's go ahead, uh, wiggle, wiggle, tickle. No wiggle. <laughs> Five, ten. 
I don't know if this expression will work. No, it won't. <laughs> I think it's a little expressionless. Um, no, it's not that. I just forgot how to do the expressions properly. Wiggle. Hey. Yeah, I, I don't know how to do the wiggle. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Yeah. I guess we can do it manually. <laughs> uh, well, how you do it manually? That's so easy. Well, it kind of already does it by itself. But I want to make it more... Uh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Scale. Let's start somewhere here. Look, we're gonna go to this. Make it smaller. Make it bigger. Make it smaller. Make it bigger. Bigger. So let's see how this looks. That's actually not that bad. Yeah, I like it. Good. We have gotten the breakthrough. Uh, how do I copy these things? A. Uh, Control C. I think last time it did not work. Well, at least I know how to do them. I'll figure out how to do it afterwards. Actually, why not do it now? Let's show people how to find stuff. How to copy keyframes. And oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. Let's see. There's the tutorial right here. <laughs> Indeed, that. <laughs> it's important to talk about this because I've really noticed that a lot of people aren't. I only ever created one set of motion time. Let's get into uh, how that so that you're forced to stare at that. Hurry up. Focused here. Hurry and look up. right here at this arrow that's pointing to the. If you hurry it up way too quickly, it uh, won't be able to survive. Open, hit F9 mm. to uh, to make them easy eased. Um, if you're familiar with my as well, we want to apply gray to being yellow. You have them selected, um, and uh, copy, and then select another layer and paste. Whoa, uh, whoa, whoa! What happened? What happened? It disappeared. It disappeared. Evan, what's going on? Whenever you copy and paste things, it's important to remember that I select all of these, I've selected from here to here, and now I'm pasting, and when it pastes, the first keyframe it pastes is going to be this one. So you see how it's just kind of, uh, and C, you can use control in yellow, you have them selected. Um, and uh, when you select a property, it goes from light gray to gray, indicating you are selecting it. Blah, blah, so blah. you can select them all. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, I use command C. You can use control C if you're on a Windows machine. Uh, you can go edit, copy, that kind of thing. You That's can it. Cut them. Same functions as you have in other <laughs> things. So copy and then select another layer and paste. Wha uh, wha what? 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 That, that, what? That's all I had to do? That, that is so stupid. <laughs> Really? All right. Edit. Copy. Edit. Paste. Wow. <laughs> oh boy. I had a brain fart. It's all good. In the hood. The light hood. The hood. But now you should murder everyone else who thought you were failing. You should make sure they cannot. What's up with the Half-Life voice? That's Half-Life? Yeah. 
You speak like a G-man, man. Hi. All right, oh. so we did this little <laughs> stupid effect, but I save it. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Never mind. It's all one huge-ass project anyway. It's only one big project. Okay. Freeman. Now. <laughs> oh, do you see? Now you're speaking like G-man. <laughs> now, what, what I wanted to do, what I'm actually trying to do, is to make sure that the ship somehow disappears over there. Mm-hmm. So, um... I'm I'm still trying to figure out how to do that properly, and I can't figure it out. And chances are I won't be able to do it either way. <laughs> All right. So while well, we actually done working with this, the hard stuff. Let's go work on the background. Oh, that's a nice, pretty background. Mm-hmm. Let's go make it full. Uh, let's add some lens flares to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's add some lens flares to it. Let's add some lens flares. Um, well, why would you add lens flare to something like this? Uh, mostly because I want to make it be alive. Um, okay. So when we go layer new, we need the lens flares. So I mean, we can we can post lights, but if we post lights, it's gonna mess stuff up. Solid black, and we're gonna place it right above here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead again layer effect flares oh ew ew what is it doing i don't know well obviously it's not doing anything good punch yeah. it in the face until that yeah we're gonna keep this lens flare for this we're gonna go ahead and add and we're we gonna what, what kind of colors do we see here brandon we have this light color well, look, look how well it does it in illuminating that particular light place it creates oh, little it looks like jesus right let's go ahead put flicker and that's pretty much it. It's done. So we created a little light effect. <laughs> it's not pretty, guys. I make it bigger. <sighs> See, now, now it sort of has this illumination to it. It's not really in your eyes because when we activate everything else, it gets blocked. It gets blocked out. <laughs> but you'll know it's still there. Because this, this part right here is sort of bright and it's going to illuminate when um, the time comes. So we know that we don't have to work on the other parts of the... Sh of the What? It's just like, yeah, I know I'm pretty and all, but I just got blocked by the universe's asshole. <laughs> I mean, we have, we have some purple stuff here. Let's go ahead, create, duplicate this. Oh, crap, wrong thing. Control Z. Uh. Let's duplicate the, the lens flare. Let's yeah, let's activate it. Let's go ahead and place it over here in the purple field. Tidal it's white. Yeah, but let's go ahead and change the color of it to the purple. This dark purple. There you go. It's it's really nice. It has like little shininess to it. Let's go scale it up to scale down to fifty. There you go. Let's go make it brighter to eighty. Let it go. And flicker is going to be the same. Let's change the flicker a bit. So it will not coincide with this one. And activate everything else. <laughs> so, you know, this is nobody's going to notice that that much. But it's still going to be there. So it's still going to be creating uh, that effect of a living universe behind it. Let's actually, there you go. It looks like a little purple star. <laughs> um, I mean, if we want to go ahead and play even more, let's go ahead and create a new solid. Uh, let's go to effect element 3d and let's put some asteroids in this corner right here We're really far away not not close enough to make them even uh, matter but it's all about um it's all about environment like brennan and i we, we forged so much for the shots uh, for the space marine the first two sequences and how much of that forging did you actually see when i showed you the pre pre-render oh those things were like uh, a monitor a bit of a tunnel it. <laughs> yeah, it's about it. But the fact is that uh, we had an opportunity, not an opportunity, but we had a, um, uh, let me try to explain this properly. Um, oh, shit. A little bit darker. Like this. Okay. So here you go. We have our little uh, asteroid. Let's click OK. And it's going to be right here. Ooh, fat asteroid. 
fat. <laughs> I called it fetus. Fet fetasteroid. <laughs> fetasteroid. Yeah, let's let's. Oh, okay. I, I think I moved the wrong thing. Yeah, it's twenty. There you go. It's kind of hiding behind there, but let's deactivate everything and. Um, I'm not quite sure I remember how to properly do this. Brandon, do you remember how to do it? Um, to create like a again. bunch, to create a bunch of them. Um, go replicator. to particle replicator. Yeah, particle replicator, and then add the particle count. Let's place it to ten. Oh shit! Okay. And then we go to rotation. Particle offset. Particle offset. Yeah, right there. Oh, wait. Um, you might want to actually. Uh, oh wait, uh, go up to replicator shape. Oh yeah, right. there you go, and 3D grid. There you go. <laughs> now we Muck. actually do the this thing. Yeah. Muck around a bit. Hey, Macarena. All right. <laughs> and then we remove the we scale it down. Mm hmm. Uh, scale shape. Oh wait, that's right. Um, where, where's the scale for this entire thing? Oh, wait. Do you remember what the actual scale is? Hmm. Oh, there you go. Let's go ahead and position them over there. I think after that we have to scatter XYZ. So you just scatter them around. And position now it's... Alright, wrong thing. No, we don't need the noise. We can actually change the size right here. Make them smaller. Like this. And go ahead and change the XYZ again. Actually, not that much. So, there you go. How, do you, how does that look like? Hmm. A lot of rocks. Yeah, and let's do my soul up the particle size random too. Uh, what do you see? Particle size random. Um, go to particle look. All right. Scroll down. And stop. Oh, there it is. Where yeah. is it? Particle size random. Yeah. There you go. So now we have this sort of uh, there. Uh, let's go ahead and close this up for now. Activate the rest. Uh, I, li I like how you do layer by layer. Ah, nice. <laughs> look, look how much work we did, man. And then we're gonna go and actually place all of them like there. And we can actually scale it down, Brandon. Yeah. And now there are like what well, other rocks are sort of floating around, are ya? Yeah, but I made them sort of squished. Uh, wrong thing. It looked like evil things. You might want to change up their rotation random too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First I want to make them uh, you know, kind of there. Uh, still squished up. Oh, there you go. Does this look okay? Hmm? Yes, but it's cut off somehow. As in, yeah, I see it. So what we're going to do is, uh, we're gonna select it, twenty. We're gonna go to this tool. We're gonna select it, and then we're going to feather it in. Feather. What? Yeah, we're feathering it inside. I do not think you are doing what you think you are doing. <laughs> oh, look, look, I'm doing it right here. There you go. How does that look like? Hmm. Looks good. Oh, crap. Not, uh, it's not, oh, well, there's still something cut off. 
Where? Uh, where's the freaking mask? Yeah. There we go. Now it's not cut off. <laughs> now we actually have all of them. So now we're going to do the rotation bit. Um, it's not here, is it? It's in World Transform. No. It's in Group. Not Particle Replicator. Not uh, Particle Look. There it is. Rotation. And then it's Y and X. Or we can do Random, man. Cool. Random Rotation. Start from here. Go inside here. And let's go ahead and do random crap. There you go. So there you go, really an unimportant part. And it kind of stands out, right? We want to make it look not as stand out ish. So let's go to utilities. No, not 3D. Render settings. And fog, enable fog, and let's pick, and now lower the opacity. Oh, how does that look like? This is looking in the distance now, right? Let's go ahead and make it a hundred. Now they're all shiny, huh? <laughs> they're the blue. It looks cool. Oh, it's a little purple star, huh? Mm hmm Maybe it's a bit too bright. Well, not really. If we really want to be fancy, we can always, uh... Okay. Uh, okay. I think we did fine for the background. And, uh, I think we can call it... Call it like this. So pretty much here it is. Uh, let's just scroll a bit to the 15 minute mark, second mark. So what you have here is our attempt at creating a different angle of the same shadow we did previously. I think it was successful. Brendan, what do you think? How does it look like? Okay. I think it looks good, my friend. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and save it. And uh, pretty much, uh, yeah, this, this is going to be it. Me and Brendan are going to go figure out how to make the ship disappear kind of cool inside the inside the portal and then we're gonna get back to you right blah 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 right yeah um danke thank you very much and uh Oof, how long uh, did i go oh we hour, hour and 30. that's oh. not too long that's not too long <laughs> all right uh thank you peace out bye